Hello, my name is Dr. Simcoe, and <clears throat> continuing on the uh, different patterns or different types of thyroid problems, uh, another one is from uh, affecting the hypothalamus periventricular cells um, is the uh, is elevation of prolactin. Now, prolactin is both produced by men and women, and it's produced by the pituitary gland, and usually elevations or uh, prolactin is released while sleeping. Now, uh, prolactin elevation, uh, prolactin itself is sensitive to the neurotransmitters we talked about earlier, dopamine and serotonin, also uh, sensitive to uh, thyroid hormones, um, and they any shifts in those types of uh, neurotransmitters or hormones can actually cause shifts in prolactin. Um, <clears throat> elevations of prolactin, um, the symptoms usually are... Uh, discharge from the mammary glands, uh, both in men and women, um, also can cause uh, infertility in females, uh, dysmenorrhea or uh, amenorrhea. In men, elevator prolactin can uh, cause problems with uh, libido um, or uh, other types of functions in that regard. So prolactin elevation in and of itself uh, whatever that may be, it could actually be a tumor in the pituitary gland, and that needs to be looked at. Prolactin elevation can cause a decrease in TSH, which is the hormone that stimulates the thyroid gland, thyroid stimulating hormone, to produce hormones. So you see, if uh, there is uh, a problem, you have hormone uh, hypothyroid symptoms, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a problem with the thyroid gland. It can definitely mean that it could be elevations of prolactin affecting the hypothalamus, which would affect the pituitary. It could be a tumor affecting the pituitary. These things need to be investigated in order to fully understand your problem, if that is indeed the case. So proper history, um, proper blood work would actually help determine if there are elevations in prolactin. And if there are, find out why that that is the case and then take care of it it's that simple